Hello everybody and welcome back to the series we Iron Man every single Fire Emblem game. Today we are continuing our journey through from for Genealogy of the Holy War. We are on chapter 10. I believe we're about halfway through. Like I said last time, I would love to finish chapter 10 today because, well, I don't know. It'd just be nice to finish it. I will say, I've mentioned this a couple of times. It's crazy. Fire Emblem 4 is way longer than I thought it was. I think part of that is that there's a lot of like TDM with... um like visiting stuff although to be fair i guess in the past when i've done more modern Fire Emblem games i tend to stream slightly longer parts so maybe maybe the next couple of uh, games will also take a long time i don't know but uh but yeah we are getting pretty close i have been really enjoying the game um so anyways we are okay so we're about to go fight this guy but more importantly julius and ishtar uh now ishtar looks really scary uh, so does Julius. I believe we only have to kill Ishtar here. I don't think you have to kill Julius. That'd be kind of crazy. Um, but... Yeah, what else are we doing? Um, okay, I remember Delmond was doing this. That's right, he was rescuing people. Thank you for rescuing me. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. That's right, we're trying to promote Delmond if we can, because... Um, Again, I want slightly more bulk on another charm user, which would be really nice, which is what Delmond can potentially give us, or Dermot. Um, he's looking pretty good, to be honest, and very close to promotion. So my hope is that I can uh, maybe get him to promotion by the end of this chapter. And then Carpri, I'm just kind of having you spam heal. We're just trying to train him a little bit. It's not the biggest deal in the world, um, to be honest, what happens with him. And then... That's right, I was gonna have Fee visit this village, I think, but I don't remember why. What were we gonna get out of this village? Uh, there's some kind of ring or something. There's a magic ring. Oh, that's right, I was gonna have Fee. Oh, okay, so somebody mentioned that I, I was complaining about the rings that I had on Seleph and the fact that it wasn't showing. Oh, now it's showing the resistance again, the plus five resistance, but it wasn't showing the plus 10 resistance, even though I had two barrier rings on self and I was really confused by this and this seemed really pointless because he was only getting you can talk to Fee? Why can you talk to Fee? Oh yo he can because Lewin is Fee's dad he can give plus five strength to Fee. What the fuck? That's awesome. Okay we should do that but in any case um that apparently even though it doesn't show the plus five, it actually does give double plus five. So Lewin was what I was thinking would actually be the best recipient of it because um, him having more magic is more useful, even though I don't think Fee having more magic is like a terrible idea. So you should talk to Fee. Pardon me, Fee. Lewin would like a word with you. If you need me, I'll be waiting over here. Jeez, Fee, I haven't seen anyone as stubborn as you since I last saw Eren. Come on, there's no need to get angry. I'm here to apologize, okay? Ignoring you clearly wasn't the best idea I've ever had. This fucking guy. What kind of monster are you, Dad? I, I could have sworn I was seeing things when you first popped up in Revo. I hadn't been that happy in years, and, and seeing you again had me in tears. But then when I tried to talk to you, you wouldn't so much as blink at me. Do you have any idea how it feels to be shunned by your own father, Dad? Do you went about per uh, so you went about pretending you didn't even notice me either? Is that it? I figured, why should I bother if you're not gonna bother? I told myself I'd only talk to you if you took the initiative here. A <laughs> bratty little thing, aren't you? <laughs> Excuse me? Oh, that does it. I'm not listening to another word of this. Maybe if she hadn't married such an awful man, Mom would still be with us. Look, V, I get it. I really messed things up with Aaron. But what happened is my business and hers, nobody else's. You instead have no right to meddle. What is this guy's deal? <laughs> There's a war going on here, Fee. And, uh, that's the only thing you should be worrying about right now, understood? Lewin might be the douchiest character in all of Fire Emblem. I do appreciate her giving- him giving her, uh, plus five strength, though. That is huge for a character who is very- very much struggled with, uh, with her strength stat, so... I appreciate that, but... Okay, so we have... Hell, which is still really scary. More Hell. And Jormund. Um... Now, how do we kill Ishtar? That's the question. She has... 73 avoid, holy shit. Um, well, we're probably gonna need those. So you have 
Yeah, it's gonna be the same hit, so 120, which is not great. Also 120, although that'll be better. We can probably use Shannon. I think Shannon will be a good a good user, obviously. Um, we have Nana, and then I can get Delmond over here, potentially, to help out. I know it's Dermot in this translation patch, but I kind of like saying Delmond better. I don't know why, but I do. <laughs> so we're just gonna probably keep saying Delmond. Unless I randomly start saying Dermot again, in which case we'll say Dermot, but... Um, so it'd be nice if only one hell could get to me. It'd be nice if no hells could get to me, but that doesn't seem like an option here. Kind of doubt I'll double here, but maybe. Never mind, Lana's a beast. So... Well, I line these guys up in a pretty poor way to get a juicy dance. Yeah, it looks like there really isn't a juicier dance that I can get than, like, this, maybe? That's probably the juiciest one I'm gonna get. I'd love to just make it so one hell guy can get to me, and that's that's the extent of it. But... Ugh, that guy's annoying, though. Well, if I kill him at range, though, he should be okay. The problem is healing... We have 88 hit. 68, that'll be even higher. Yeah, that should work. So let's kill this guy, sure. Um, can you like maybe kill this guy? 92 hit. I've no way to heal you. This is, I mean, our crit is gonna be pretty darn high there, but that's probably not a good idea. The problem is I, if I'm gonna make this plan successful, I do need one more. You know what? I have a pretty high crit. I'm gonna run it. This might not be the best idea in the world. Yeah, I would describe that as not the best idea in the world. That's unfortunate. Um, Well, the nice thing is that hell doesn't really matter too much if you're already low on health. So that's a positive. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to kill. Well, I suppose actually this isn't so bad, right? Because we can just kill you here with the you fell, and then we kill. Yeah, and then and then just one hell guy can reach me. That should work. Not exactly the smoothest turn in the world, but you know, hell. It's funny. Hell is like really, really powerful and really scary, but. It can never actually kill you, so if it's only one hell user that can get to you, it's not very scary at all. In fact, it's quite the opposite. So that conversation can either be, if Lewin is Lean's father, she gets plus five defense. If she's Tinny's father, she gets plus five magic. Okay, kind of cool. I think that's it, yeah. I, I don't think there's any other conversations we can have. We're going to be getting the tier thing, but that isn't until a lot later. Um, Altina is dead. We already did Shannon. Nana could talk to Leaf. No, Leaf is dead. Uh, Altina is dead. Patty is dead. Oh, Faval can talk to Lana for plus three HP on Lana. We can do that. That's the other conversation we can do. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay, there's also Siege Tomes out here, apparently. Obviously, I'm not too worried about this guy attacking uh, Faval, but... It'll be interesting to see, did, did Ishtar and, uh, and Arvis start moving? Not Arvis, uh, Julius start moving? I don't actually know. No, it looks like they didn't. I wonder if they will start moving, because that's going to be pretty terrifying. Uh, looks like they didn't. Also, really important here, um, they have more resistance than 30, and specifically they have more resistance than she has magic, so we can't use silence here, even though she has 27 magic. I don't actually know if I give her multiple magic rings, if she would, if that would matter. It has only been lately that we've been that we've had to deal with the these rites of sacrifice. Not so long ago, from what I hear, Emperor Arvis himself forbade him entirely. What the devil could have changed his mind? Please, I'm begging you. You gotta save our children. Here, this magic ring ought to help you out. So, is it gonna show the plus ten? Uh, I guess I have tornado. I don't really need Elwind. No, it still only shows plus five. But apparently, he's getting plus ten. 
Oh, actually, we can figure this out, right? So 30 might, plus 23. No, so he's not getting plus 10. So it, is, so it is useless to stack rings. I don't know. Who knows? Not me. Okay, you want to go over to the right, so start heading that way. Yeah, so stacking rings doesn't actually do anything. I, I just wasn't sure about the numbers. I never actually looked at the numbers before. I just knew that it wasn't showing the plus 10, but sometimes... Sometimes games won't, like, show things, but they'll still be the case, you know, so. Okay, so we have Hell again. Sleep, which he didn't use, which is interesting. Jormund, Hell. Physics, Sleep. Okay, so we have a Fender guy over there. Hell, oh my god. These guys are really annoying. Sleep, Fenrir, Fenrir. Sleep, so much. Okay, I'm glad we have Restore, at the very least. Um, yeah, I guess we just kill- we need to kind of wait until, like, Selif actually catches up with everybody. Who- who does Nana talk to again? Oh, no, no, that, that's right. Oh, Faval and Lana is the last one that we can do, that's right. So, I guess kill this guy. Yeah, let, let's make his hit zero. We can just slowly work through these guys. I think that's the safest way to handle this as opposed to trying to like do too much. I don't want to put my guys in too many Fenrir ranges either. The problem is our one restore user is Sed, who's all the way back by the uh, the one thing. I wonder if... No, because going to this castle isn't really better than going to that castle. So there's no real reason to like have Lana go back there, for example. Oh, this guy just says sleep, okay. So basically, I just want to keep everybody out of that guy's range. That's all I really care about. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, and then I guess you kill this guy. Sure, even if you get hit, it's okay. That, that works, though. We like that. Like that a lot. So, um, there's a guy going to these villages, so I wouldn't mind having um, her go around that way. Now, this guy just says sleep. I'd love to kill him. I'd love to also get to this guy, which maybe we can. What does this guy have? What do you have? Sleep. Okay. Just afraid of somebody get like getting like slept in a really awkward spot, which could very well happen. Oh, actually, I could silence. Could start using silences. She has a decent amount of money. Yeah, she has a ton of money. I can actually spam silence if I really want. Can I silence that guy, maybe? That way we have to deal with one less Fenrir. Am I in range of that? Um, Sure, right? I mean, whatever. We have them. We may as well use them, even if they don't actually accomplish that much. That'll help me out a little bit. Just slightly less annoying. HP, defense, res. Okay, good level up. She's officially level 30. Love to see it. Okay, and then you can heal him. Yeah, I mean, like I said, you know, we can basically repair the silence really as many times as we want. So I feel like spamming them isn't like the worst idea in the world. It's a good level up. Can you go there? Okay. Um. How much hit? So how much avoid do you have? 102? So you're basically immortal. So if I wanted to go kill this guy with you, I probably could, is basically what you're saying. Well, I certainly don't hate that. Because what is your hit with him? Zero. Does he have hell? Is that what this is? Wait, he has... Is that hell? It must have been hell, yeah. Why does it show attack as nothing? I don't know. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> yeah, I thought like I had Jormund or whatever, but then it looked like it looked like he was using Hell. Maybe they have both. I don't know. I don't remember how that works. And then obviously there's this guy, um, but he just has an axe, so I'm not. I'm the opposite of scared of that guy. Yeah, it's interesting that they none of them use their sleep because they totally could have. I mean, I'm happy about it, because like I said, my restore is so far away, but I'm slightly worried they're going to start sleeping people. 
Is that sleep? Yeah. See, this is why being like super aggressive is a little bit scary. But I think I, I still get like my avoidance stuff because I've slept. I don't know, I silenced people. Did I ever sleep anyway? Yeah, because he didn't attack me, so his hit must have been zero. Yeah, yeah, so I still get all my bonuses. So Shannon is still like pretty much immortal. It's just that he can't, uh, he can't like attack or anything, which is okay. Although, depending on when Julius and them move, I don't know like how close you have to get for them to start moving. I don't know if they ever start moving. Looks like a lot of other units are moving. Those are Fenrir guys. Cause once they start moving, things are gonna get a little bit rough. Cause I, okay, good, they didn't move. Cause I kind of need Shannon to actually fight them. 75 HP. It's a lot of HP. Uh, okay, said you need to start heading over here. And then yeah, you keep heading that way. Selif needs to move up. Yeah, we can wait a second to do that. Um, so this guy's still silenced. We have physic, we don't care about that. Sleep, kind of annoying. Another sleep. But this guy, oh, I guess he only could arrange Shannon. Same thing with this guy. I wonder if the sleep guys just don't move. The nice thing is that there is a decent amount of these people that just don't really matter. And we get to keep our avoid if we get slept, so it's not like the worst thing in the world. Um, okay, we'll start here, I guess. Unfortunately, his uh, increased resistance with the Mistletane doesn't matter against Tell, but I, I guess we'll... Okay, that works. Doo -doo. Um, I don't think I can really do that juicy of a dance. I can dance there. I suppose we can use Fortify. I could uh, silence some more. I don't know. Um, I mean, I guess we could do this. It seems kind of pointless, right? I mean, it, oh, we can use the Earth Sword, I guess. I don't know how much this is really going to do or how important it is to get chip damage on this random enemy, but, you know, why not? I don't know what prompts them to start moving. A fairly juicy dance. Not the juiciest, but you know, solid. I think I'm just gonna keep silencing the Fenrir guys. I really wish that it like showed their weapons so I don't have to keep like going over them. So Physic, Sleep. <laughs> that guy has the sneeze attack. Um, Jormund, Hell, Fenrir. Okay, so there's a Fenrir guy over there, but he's still pretty far away. Did you kill this guy? I mean, we didn't get a crit before. Maybe we get a crit this time. Nice. Like his crit chance is actually really solid. So that's not the most, you know, it's not that unreasonable to hope for a crit. We could have healed him too. So it's not like we like needed it or anything, but good level up. Very good level up. Okay, let's get Selif in there as much as we can. I mean, we don't need um, Shannon necessarily to fight Julius slash Ishtar, but it would be nice. He's obviously going to be my best op option for that. I'm assuming this is going to be pretty weak. I think it's five res. I mean, his hit is 11, so it's kind of like, who cares? Maybe we just attack a bunch of times. Soul is not the thing we wanted to proc there, I will say. Was that, what do we just proc? Was that a... Uh... I just assume every time I attack with her, she is just going to attack until the enemy dies. And that's just kind of how it is. Okay, if she would have stopped there, that would have been pretty funny. Thankfully she didn't. Uh, leave me at two health. Okay. Okay, um, so we need to finish this guy. Maybe we can do it with Nana. Oh, oh. Sorry. I don't know if that came through on the mic. 
This guy's talking about college basketball. Um, so Ares could kill. There's a German guy. There is a hell guy around here, isn't there? I guess not. He's all the way back there. I think this guy is hell. Okay. So we can kill the German guy with Ares. That sounds like a pretty good plan to me. Again, I am slightly worried when Ishtar and what's her face uh, and Julia start moving, but you know we we have like Ares and stuff. Um, I guess just retreat back, just in case people get slept. Although to be honest, he has twenty five res, so I don't think he can get slept. But I don't know if that matters because my assumption is the reason that um that they gave. Let's repair that. Can you buy anything else? Like, do I have a mend in here you can buy, maybe? I'd just love for you to get more experience. That's oh, too expensive. Um, my assumption is that the reason that these guys both have... Like, with the resistance ring, she goes to 31, and with the... Um, I guess this must give him... Either way, but he gets plus 5 resistance. He goes to 35, right? Well... Okay, so if magic rings don't stack, there's no way you have more magic than Julius. That's impossible. But with Ishtar, if you had a magic ring, you actually could have more magic than her. So maybe the magic ring does matter. I, I honestly don't know. I mean, this is all speculation. Obviously, you could, you know, determine this yourself fairly easily. But can you kill that guy? I'm assuming probably not. Like, how much can you actually do if I if I do this? I could Thief Sword. How scary is that for me, though? I'm not in range of that guy. That guy doesn't matter. I wouldn't mind just Thief Sword and get 3,000 gold off this guy. I do get in range of this guy. He has Pursuit with 10 speed. How fast is Nana? Oh, it weighs like nothing. All right, I'm willing to just quickly steal some money from this guy. Why not? Give me your gold! Um, yeah, does somebody want to kill this guy, maybe? Do I want to silence anybody? I could sleep, could silence... There's no more Fenrir people, I could silence a person with silence, but... At this point, that actually doesn't seem that useful. Um, I don't know. I don't want to use, like, all of my silences right now, even though they are kind of free to repair. It just seems kind of pointless to... Yeah, nobody needs healing, right? Could rescue somebody, but that'll be more useful later, I think. Yeah, whatever. Um, just seems kind of pointless to, to like, silence or sleep one of the sleep guys when there are, like, four out there, right? Oh, the, uh, Johan getting slept is totally fine. Oh, we do need to start killing these guys, though. If I can I turn on the game? I don't know why I'm choosing to record this while this game is being played, but let me see. I don't actually follow follow college basketball that much to be honest. But do, 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 do. I mean, this is probably not going to work. No. <laughs> yeah, whatever. I should be focusing on the game anyways. Who cares? Oh, now it's going to start playing lo-fi. Okay, no, it won't. Okay. I don't really watch that much college basketball, to be honest, but uh, I'm a big fan of basically all Wisconsin sports teams, and uh, Marquette College, which is in Milwaukee, is playing a pretty game right now. Holy, did everyone get slept? Everybody is asleep. Wait, why does sleep only happen three turns, but it happened for five on Favel? I wonder if it's a res thing? No, that can't be, because he... Because everyone has the same res. I don't know. 
All right, well, unfortunately, making Sed go to that village was a terrible idea because he's my only uh, restore user at the moment, but... Um, okay, well, the nice thing is that Julius and them still are not moving. I, I guess what we really need to do is start killing these sleep staff guys. You have... still three more turns, okay. Yeah, we need to start killing these guys. Also, I think some of the Fenrir guys are starting to move toward us, yeah. Only one of them, it looks like. You have Hell, we need to kill you as well. I'm starting to run out of people that can actually, like, do things, though, is the problem. Okay, we'll kill this guy. Everybody's gonna be slept in a minute here. How much magic do you guys have? Like, the sleep guys? 16? of 10 res, so I can't even get out of it. Um, what's my strongest weapon? I guess this? There is a- she does have the, like, you can attack my- oh my god. Wow, that was pathetic. Okay, well... Unfortunately, she's not one of my better combat units, so we can do this. Um, and this. Can I silence... Where is the Fenrir guy? He's still pretty far away, right? Yeah. I can silence the Hell guy. I mean, I think this guy has a... Well... My damage isn't too bad. At least we can start picking apart this guy. Although I think without a crit, which I don't even know if she can crit. Oh my god, she left him at two. That's annoying. Uh, do you want to kill? Yeah, why not? It's not like she's really doing anything else. I mean, this guy is silent still for like three more turns, but you know, why not? It's something. But again, this is going to keep being really scary for a while here because... Oh, nice. Because, um... Uh... If, if Julius and Ishtar start moving with how scary all these, like, sleep users are at the moment... Because we need, we need everyone to be together and in unison if we're actually going to, like, kill Ishtar. Which, again, I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure somebody said in a comment that, um... Julius leaves if Ishtar dies, and vice versa, so I think we're okay. If that happens. Okay, Hannibal going to sleep is obviously, you know, acceptable. Is Lana's res that bad? Oh wow, she actually got put to sleep. What is Lana's res? It must not be very good. Okay, well, I'm fine with this. Oh, I just dropped. Uh, well, we'll pick that up later. Okay, that missed. A 0% missed. Love to see it. I don't know where that dude's going. Uh, I don't think there's anything special in those villages, but obviously I, I do kind of want Carpre to get those villages so that he can get a little bit more money. We're still in a very annoying situation with everyone asleep. Said is slowly making his way up to us. Um, here, Carper, you can get that village. Dermot is also almost up here. We can maybe go back to the arena with Dermot. I don't know where Dermot lost on the arena, but... Actually, there's two sleeps. And then this is hell, and what is this? A sleep, okay. So... The problem is Nana is so useless. Um... How do we want to do this? You have... Physic, I don't care about you. Let's kill one of the sleep guys. We should be able to kill at least a decent amount of the sleep guys this turn. I think it's better to take out the sleep guys as quickly as we can than to, uh... Save the village. I don't think it matters too much. I mean, we'll save at least a part of it for Carpri. And then... I mean, I guess if you want to steal the money at least, you can... Is this the guy I already stole from? No. I really wish Nana was a stronger unit, but what are you gonna do? Okay, so Ares kill this guy.
I never actually checked if the audio was working. Yeah, it looks like it is. Okay. Should probably check that more often. He has 16 res of his own, by the way. I didn't realize that. Obviously, he gets a big res bonus from the Mistletane, but having 16 of your own is actually very solid. <coughs> Ares... The downside of Ares and the Mistletane is that it doesn't give speed in particular, and there's a lot of these units that have these legendary weapons that help out quite a bit with speed. So it's really hard to compete with them from that weapon's perspective. Actually, what if, uh, what if Delman wants to go over there and fight them? That might not be the best, the worst idea. Oh, by the way, I'll probably mention this in another video, um, but my plan at the moment, I know I mentioned streaming a little while ago. Um, my plan is that obviously we're going to finish out genealogy without streaming, because um, at this point I, th I think it's, you know, it'll just be better to, to do on my own. Um, okay, that guy's Fender, but doesn't appear to be moving. Did Nana get slept? Oh, she did. I'm just not even paying attention. Um, Shannon woke up. That's good. Delman, you can go over there. Sleep in this offender guy. I know Jormund. Okay. All right. Let's finish off. You. Um, but my plan is after we finish genealogy, I'll probably do. I don't know if I'll make any videos after genealogy. I'm, I might do a video or two about genealogy, like in the days after I finish it. Not really sure yet. I haven't planned that out. Um, but then once we start Thracia, which will be probably like next week or something, um, I'm going to try to start streaming that. Um, we'll see how that goes. Again, I've talked about this before, but the reason that I stopped streaming was really just consistency. You know, the nice thing about not streaming and just uploading straight to YouTube is that I can just kind of record whenever I feel like it, and I don't have to, like, do it at specific times. Um, Lungo, the Twelve Crusaders, waged holy war against the Loptir Empire for 15 years. Nary a single corner of the land of Jugdral escaped the war's clutches. It was St. Haim who, who smote the Dark God's avatar. Emperor Gale... something. <laughs> Restoring light to this land at long last. And yet, the Dark God is upon us once again. Or once more, oh great Crus crusaders, protect us all. Oh, so it was it was like an evil emperor back then as well. Interesting. Um, but yeah, and my plan is to do actually around where I'm recording this, and I'm gonna I'm gonna try to get into a rhythm of it. But I'm gonna do somewhere between four and five every day, which is Central Standard Time, which I know doesn't work for everyone, but um, I think that's the best for me. That'll stay consistent, hopefully. And I'll try to do that every weekday ish, depending. And um, we'll see where that goes. So that's seven speed. Yeah, that weighs a ton. Um, but for anybody who doesn't want to watch the stream or can't watch the stream because of time limitations, uh, whatever. Uh, as I've said before, everything uh, will still be uploaded to YouTube. Every single thing that I stream will go straight to YouTube. So um, if you're uh, enjoying watching the content and you don't want to watch stream um, for whatever reason, uh, don't worry about missing anything. It will all be uploaded to YouTube. But I find streaming to be really entertaining and I think beneficial for people as well. You know, I, if you've ever commented on one of these YouTube videos, you know that I, I reply to basically every comment. Um, sometimes a little bit late, but you know, I try my best. And um, well, you can actually restore from there. Oh, I probably should have. Oh, well. Um. But the nice thing about Twitch is that people can comment as I record the video. I think one of the annoying things, and I don't know from like specific people's perspective that do comment on a lot of the videos, um, that might be annoying is that you get into situations where you watch like this sort of like long form content and you have maybe multiple things to comment over the course of a video. And it can be a little bit annoying to kind of be like, well, at this point, I want this, I want to say this, at this point, I want to say this, you know? And I appreciate everyone that takes the time to comment. You know, there's a reason I comment back. And uh, and for me, like, the reason I love doing this is because um, I love experiencing Fire Emblem specifically with other people. But the nice thing about streaming on Twitch is that as you go over the course of a, of a Twitch stream, you can comment specifically on specific things, which is, which is nice. 
Also, <laughs> uh, it doesn't make me look quite as insane as uh, this does. Not that I consider myself crazy for doing this, but, you know, I like I am perfectly happy as an individual to talk to myself in a room alone, whether people are listening or not, for hours on end, as is well evidenced by uh, these videos. Holy shit, we need to use... Oh, she's asleep. Um, can I get to you? Did not realize I put you in range there. Okay, please restore and rescue Johan because he's going to get murdered. Um, but the nice thing about Twitch stream is that at least you have the excuse of I'm talking to people on a Twitch stream as opposed to I'm just crazy talking in my room. But uh, but yeah, that's that's my plan at the moment. Again, we'll see once we get after genealogy how consistent that winds up being. Um, but yeah, I'd love to go back to what I was doing before, which is streaming and then just uploading all the parts of the stream to YouTube, which I think was a lot of fun. Um, so the problem is we're going to wind up putting people in Julius and Ishtar's range. I wonder if we have Julius move, if Ishtar will move as well. I don't know, because this is the scary part, right? Like if only Julius moves, for example, what do we do? He has 60 attack, it weighs 12. He does, he does have pursuit, but we can easily make it so he doesn't double me. What is our situation with... I'd love to also wake up Nana before we actually do it, because that way we can get another, um... Another thing in there. Yeah, let's wait, let's wait. Let's wake up Nana. Because that way we can get our other charm user in there as well. And I'll put a- I'll, I should probably start leaving a link to my Twitch stream for anybody that's interested. Because I, I haven't streamed in so long. In fact, my Twitch- my Twitch actually isn't even, uh... Uh, linked up with my OBS anymore because, uh, I was always afraid that it would randomly start streaming. Um, and I just wasn't streaming anymore, but... Yeah, I should probably start doing that. So anyone who's interested. Okay, so what is the hit of Julius? That's the question. Now we should have enough stuff here to do what we need to do. 134. You have 102, and then if I... I can put you with a bunch of charm. Okay. So I do feel comfortable with doing this. With, like, Shannon, for example. In fact... The problem is I can't put anybody... I could put you there, I guess? Now let's do this. Let's see what happens. I'm kind of curious, just even for, like, science's sake. I'm curious who moves if I do this. This is going to get a little funky, like, because I'm not 100% sure how this is going to play out. If only Julius moves, we have to kill Julius. And I didn't mention this, but Julius' weapon, as you can see down there, it says cut, cuts foe's attack, uh, which I believe is in half. And he has 25 defense, so not a hard man to bring down for sure. Julius, I believe, unless I'm mistaken, is the final boss of the game. So obviously we're not supposed to be actually fighting him right now. This is just a, uh... Yeah, you just keep spamming Physic to your heart's content, Carpery. We're gonna get you enough money to keep repairing that. I don't really know that promoting Carpery is in the cards, but... Okay, so he is gonna move at the very least. Hmm, look, Ishtar, victory is mine. Oh, I didn't even think about... Oh, I actually don't get one shot by one. I didn't even think about getting one shot. But, I mean, he only has 12 hit, obviously. <coughs> okay. Okay, Ishtar moving as well is beautiful. That's exactly what we were hoping for there. Oh, I just punched my mic, sorry. Um, Yeah, I did not even think about getting one shot, but thankfully... Thankfully, Shannon had just enough res to where that did not happen. So, how do we want to do this? Basically, again, we just want to kill Ishtar. You have not Fenrir. There are two Fenrir users back here, but I'm not too scared of them, to be honest. Um, Carpe, actually, do you want to help me out by healing Shannon? Maybe have you and Lana heal Shannon to full? That's a pathetic amount of healing. Okay. I didn't know we were memeing out here. Yeah, the problem is that Carpri's dad being Holen means that his ma uh, magic growth. Although his skill growth is insane. He's got 14 already. Okay, so I'm unfortunately the best that I can do is fortify, but she has such good magic that should heal me to full. 
or close to. Okay, so you get up here, and then Nan actually Nana can heal you to fall. That's Ares. Okay. Okay, now obviously I'm really banking on the fact that Julius will leave once we kill Ishtar, but I'm pretty sure that's the case. So if it's not, we might be screwed here. And then hopefully she... Oh, I should put... Actually, Self, do you want to attack? The problem is you probably get doubled, right? Yeah, she has 30 speed. Oh, God. Does she have Pursuit? No, but she does have Adept. Ooh, this is scary. Could use you as well. 39... You know what? I've mentioned this before, but I feel like... I feel like whenever she attacks somebody, she just kills them, right? It seems as if this game shall be mine, Lord Julius. D perfect, yeah. <laughs> Again, when Larcy attacks people, they die. Flat out. You've lost, have you? Hmm. We live at once. Bye, Julius. Bye-bye. Julius had Wrath, by the way, if you noticed, which is very scary because I'm pretty confident nobody can take a crit from him. So when we actually do have to fight him, that's going to get really scary. Okay, well, that entire situation actually seemed a little bit tedious, and we got through it without too many complications. So I feel pretty good about that, to be honest. Her level ups have been pretty good. Um, could just kill the boss. Okay, this is one of the Fenrir guys. Let's take him out. I think I'll probably wait until next turn to kill the boss. I don't think there's any reason to rush it. I can't seize with Selif anyways, so... Yeah, really all we have is Larcy. 98. What is my void? 73. So, yeah, let's just move up a little bit. Again, I don't think there's any reason to do anything too stupid here. We have charm and stuff from these units. We're fine. We can just kill them next turn. No reason to be stupid if you don't have to. Which are honestly, it's honestly advice that I should use more often. But Patty would probably be alive if I had uh, taken that advice earlier. But, you know, whatever. We make do. And then I believe there's just one more boss to fight. I think we do finally get to fight Arvis at the end of this chapter, but I think that's it. Um, which I don't know how scary Arvis is. I assume he's going to have a holy weapon. So probably very scary, but um, yeah, we'll see. Although it looks like the team I'm rooting for, Marquette, is very much going to lose this game. So very sad, but... Oh well, it's very early in the season. Not a big deal. Considering they beat the number one team in the country uh, yesterday, I feel uh, I feel okay, you know? Okay, so... Can you kill the boss? She's another one where I feel like once she starts attacking people, they just die. So I would love to actually seize this turn if we can. So let's get our charm set up. And then we can have uh, her go in there. Mm. Nana is like, Nana's pretty good because again, she's pretty bulky and she has charm, but her other stats are, I don't know. She's not, she's not quite, I guess where I'd like her to be. I can dance for Selif so we can get in there too. And then again, I'm the nice thing is that we can Kanto after this. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he'll just die if I do this. I'd be surprised if he didn't. <laughs> uh, you've been cursed with such a poor fate. Well, every boss in this game is ridiculously confident that they will be killing us. And um, thus far, none of them have quite gotten there. Archbishop Manfroy, please forgive me. So we don't actually get to kill Manfroy until the last chapter. I'm pretty sure we're going to be fighting a lot. I... Uh, if I remember correctly from looking a little bit forward with this game, the last chapter is insane with the amount of, like, powerful units that are on it. So, 
Should be exciting. Should make for an exciting time at the very least. I think I will take a kill for you. Um, she is capped, so getting kills for her isn't like the biggest deal in the world. Same thing with, with uh, Johan, although he can get experience. But every kill we get another star on the weapon, which is another crit percentage. So there is actually reason to uh, to get these kills and not just seize the castle. Now, both of these weapons have already gotten to having um, crit, but again, we get one percentage every time we uh, we do it. It's crazy how good Larcy has still been, even though she doesn't have a, uh, a legendary weapon. Looks like we're too late, Selif. The kids are already gone. I'm guessing they've, they're have they well on their way to Grand Vale. Blast, not again. I hate to admit it, but I doubt we could have gotten here any sooner either way. Now then, it sounds like they're just finishing up repairs on the Miletus Strait Bridge. Ready to move on to Kelfi? Kelfi, my father's homeland. Or Chelfi? I don't know. So it is. I'm betting the citizens there will be even happier to see you than usual. Let's not uh, let them wait any longer. Indeed, everyone move out. Onward to Chelfi. Or Kelfi. I would assume Selif probably knows how to say it, but I am not Selif, unfortunately. I gotta live with that every day. I'm, I'm not as cool as Selif. So. Okay, now I believe that a green unit is actually gonna spawn way over here. Actually, I don't, like, way over there, I think. Um, and I think we have to defend him at least in some capacity. So if I were playing this optimally, I probably would have had Fee uh, go over there a little bit more to kind of set up, but obviously I didn't do that, so we'll see how this plays out. But yeah. Over here in Kelfi. Ah, Bishop Helmark, Your Grace, I need you to escort these children to safety. Come again? Are you setting them free? Indeed, more of Julius's minions from Belhalla will be here any moment. I need you to move, and quickly. Yes, of course. Thank you, Your Majesty. Thank you so much. I, I also wish to entrust you with this. Hold on a moment. Isn't this... Once long ago, you were a confidant to Sigurd, were you not? You already know what you must do. Yes, sire. Now go. Protect the children with your life. Father. Julia, I, I beg your forgiveness. For all the misery I've, I've wrought... Uh, you must hate me so. That's not true. It doesn't matter what happened, Father. Not even for a moment have I hated you. To me, you've always been one of the kindest men I've ever known. No, I'm a fool. I've been a fool from the outset. All this time, I've been Manfroy's puppet. Yeah, Arvis, we know. When I finally saw the strings he was pulling, it was too late. I was powerless to do a thing. I'd already given the Empire to Julius, the embodiment of Loptir, the Dark God. He, he took the love of my life from me, and you're next. Mother sacrificed herself for me. She gave the last of her strength to ensure I made it as far away from Julius as possible. I think the trauma must have wiped my memory, and if Lewin hadn't found me... But just know- I think- I think memory loss might run in your family. <laughs> but just knowing that Julius did that to his own mother, now I remember, I almost wish I didn't. It hurts so much. Oh, Julia, we have so much more to talk about. I wish we could, but time is short. You're in grave danger as long as you stay here. Run, run with Bishop Pelmark, please. I, I think not, Arvis. The only place L Lady Julia is going is back with me to Veltimore. Now, I do believe his uh, Imperial Majesty should keep to Prince Julius's orders. That is, unless you want your dear daughter to meet the axe. How dare you, Manfora? You address your emperor. How dare you speak to seek to use my daughter as a common bargaining chip? Hmm. Uh, so, you still uh, feebly cling to your titles and thrones, do you? Your time is long past, Arvis. You and this world now belong to Prince Julius. Unless you wish to know the pain beyond the ken of mortal beyond the ken of mortal men, seal your tongue and obey your new liege without question. It is almost a pity your heroics are for naught. Every last child you freed shall be festering a festering corpse before this day is done. <laughs> Father, Julia, I'm so sorry. Julius's thugs are too powerful. I can't protect you. All I can do now is give you this. The circlet once belonged to Deirdre. This only it could possibly save you from... Enough. We leave it once, Julia's father. Oh. Well, that worked out. Not really. <laughs> yeah, Ju Arvis, I mean, Arvis deserves... Yeah, he's, he's a bit of an idiot, but... 
Come along, children, hurry. There's nowhere to go for, uh, for us to go, sir. The dark priests are right behind us. We're gonna die, aren't we? Be at peace. All will be well. Lord Selif will be here any moment to rescue us. Have faith in the Crusaders, my children. Uh-oh. Okay, so the question is, can we get Fee over there fast enough to protect uh, Patriarch? Pedmark? Whatever his name is. Um, okay, so we have a commander with Pavice. Another commander. Do you guys have authority stars? Yeah. So here is Arvis, who has Velflame. He's a, holy crap, he has like capped everything. Plus 10 magic, plus 10, 10 defense, and plus 10 uh, resistance. He has 70 attack, by the way. Holy crap. His charm, Nihil, and Pavice. Okay, Nihil's interesting. Okay, so he has the Loptier Blood and then big Val uh, Valtimir Holy Blood. Here we have the, the Rotten Ritter. Uh, these guys just have Jormund. And then over here we have... Palmark, who again we need to um we need to save so that he can give us the tier thing. So how far let, let's give you a little boost. I can move you at least a little bit extra with our dancer. Which would be nice. The rotten ritter. Uh, you gotta feel a little bit bad for Arvis, but not really. I mean, he's, he's you know, a bit of a jerk. But it does seem as though Arvis was at least in trying to do something uh, reasonable. Is there anything too scary here? These guys just have just mages. That is a sleep user, so that's a bit scary. It doesn't look like anything else here is too bad. We obviously have some quite strong units that can uh, can take on here. Uh, Delman, yeah, actually, if you want to, can you do any more in the arena? Who did you die to? A wind mage. Okay, I feel like you can probably beat him now, maybe. I can one-shot him, but I do have to hit this 50%. Bro, come on. Well, that sucked. Uh, um, maybe I can get you more kills in the actual fight, although that I... I have my doubts about, to be honest. I have my doubts. It's not that big of a deal. Hopefully we can promote him, but if we can't, it's not the end of the world. Um, here, if you wanna... Wow, whatever, it doesn't matter. Cause it's not like you have to... Yeah, you're fine. Oh, that's right. You're gonna get these villages. A terrifying man, that Prince Julius is. Just a single glance into those eyes and of his and you're gone. You lose yourself. So many of my friends and others my age have all left for Bahala to serve him. I've heard nothing from them, any of them since. Yeah, I think those people might be dead. I don't know why, you know, when I think about it, I don't know why I'm bringing up the score of this game on my phone when I have another screen right here. I mean, I guess I'm looking at the information from this fight, but be a lot. But I'd, I'd use a lot more phone charge if I just brought it up here. Ooh, actually, this game is really close. It's a three-point game at the moment. Um. Okay. So yeah, I should be able to catch up with them. Although we do, we do have to be a little bit careful because while I do think she can probably fight them without too much issue. I am slightly worried about other units potentially aggroing me. Oh, you guys have Meteor, okay. It's a little bit scary there for sure. Is this a set angle? We could also just, of course, use Shannon as always. He has 102 avoid and we can make that even higher. Yeah, let's do that. Pretty sure as long as I give him a couple of charms He's gonna be able. He's gonna be invincible. Need to be a little bit careful of how we position them. Need to be within three tiles. So I guess if you go here, only one unit is gonna be able to attack you. And then we can do like Delmin here and Nana here, and he should get all of our charms. 
all of our charm bonuses. Which is good. We want that, obviously. The nice thing is that our fee is pretty strong, so I think she'll probably be strong enough. It'd be really nice if we had Eltina that could do this, but I am slightly afraid because... 34. She doesn't have the best resistance in the world, but she does have good avoid. Good ish avoid. Mm, I don't know. I don't know how this is going to go. We'll see, I guess. Oh, I forgot Larcy was down there. Brave weapons as well. <laughs> My idea is that we just sort of work through these units with our our units, obviously, that's pretty obvious. Um, but we can do it through with Shannon kind of at the forefront to take hits because he's pretty much invulnerable. We can also get set up here because set is also pretty much invulnerable. Again, one of the things that I, I want to point out, and we haven't gotten to the final chapter yet, so we'll see how that goes, but is that for most of generation two, Shannon and said in particular, are pretty much invincible because their avoid is so high. And of course we're adding to that with multiple charms and our authority stars, but these units are extremely, extremely um, dodgy. So they, they're basically invincible. On the final chapter, I think things are probably gonna get a lot more difficult. And in that sense, like I think there's gonna be a lot more authority stars and stuff. So at the moment, I think we can definitely just rely on these two to pretty much do whatever we need them to do. But I think that's going to change a bit once we get to that final chapter. But obviously that remains to be seen. You know, I, I I don't know. I don't really remember that much about it. I do remember, and I, I think I mentioned this before, but the last time that I played through this game um, was a long time ago. And I was still using, that was a great level up. I was still using like save states and stuff. So um, I wasn't really taking it that seriously, I guess you could say. Uh, but I do remember going through most of the game pretty easily and then getting to that final chapter and it was very difficult. Okay, that guy didn't sleep anybody, which is kind of cool. What the fuck is that guy doing? <laughs> now, I will say, where's that? where are these guys going? That, that doesn't lead anywhere. These guys are off their rockers. Now, I will say that playing Fire Emblem pre- Iron Manning um, Fire Emblem games and post Iron Manning Fire Emblem games has been pretty dramatically different for me. I, I'm sure pe other people that have um, Iron Man have probably experienced this as well, but um, Iron Manning is very different from not Iron Manning, and it, it changes your kind of perspective and how difficult things are, how difficult things feel quite a bit. And so we'll, we'll see what the last chapter is feels like yeah see that's the problem because I, if i use the flame sword i have weapon triangle disadvantage but the thing is they have 114 hit and i only have 79 avoid so the the hit is still going to be like pretty good i mean i can kill them individually but i mean maybe we can kill maybe we can like at least stay out of the range of that guy like maybe we do this Maybe I can at least aggro them to the point where we can uh, we can get other units over here. They have 35 hit and they deal 18. So 18, 36, 44, 54. So I can take like three. One, two, three, four, five, six. So if I go like here maybe? Yeah, perfect. I mean, maybe being not in his range will mean that he'll keep going after the green units, which isn't good, but I'm just trying to make it as safe as possible for her. Which maybe isn't the best idea. Um, okay, honestly, I think the best strategy here and the fastest way to go through this is to just do this. I'm actually going to turn off, I think, his animation. Because as cool as it is, it's just going to make this a bit more tedious. And then, yeah, I honestly think just letting said go absolutely insane here is, uh, is the way to go. 
He's also going to lose most of his uh, Force Eddy uh, uses here, but that's okay. None of none of you come here come even close to be as strong to be strong enough to fight Prince Julius. Hate to say it, but sometimes you need to make sacrifices if you want to keep uh, keep going. What the fuck, old man? Shut up! You have no idea how strong I am or how strong Prince Julius is. That man's not necessarily wrong, but he is a dick. You know what I'm gonna do? Is this worth it? There's no way this is worth it, right? No, no, no it's not worth it. Um, I don't need a heal or anything. We should be okay. Yeah, I think we can just run it. I mean, I guess we'll do this too. If they want to attack him, that's perfectly fine as well. In fact, I would rather have some of his holy weapon go away and some of Sed's holy weapon go away than like all of Sed's be used up. So if they want to attack Favel at range, that's perfectly fine as well. Again, with double charm plus authority stars, there's basically no way anybody is in danger here of these units. At least that's what I'm going to tell myself. All right. Let's see how this goes, I guess. For anyone who really likes watching Forsetti, you still kind of get to see the animation, but I figured it'll go a little bit faster. I might do a little bit of animation uh, manipulating in the last chapter too, I don't know, we'll see. I'm usually not a big fan of turning off animation or like speeding up the game, because I usually like to see it play out. Even on the slower games, like I know I know a lot of people like to do that in like Path of Radiance, I never even do it in that game, but I don't know, it does start to wear on me a bit, especially when you have like foregone conclusions like this, Part of why the animation is so much fun is because there's that level of like, will it hit, won't it hit? But when every enemy has zero hit because uh, Lewin just has that much avoid, it's not that interesting to turn to have the animation on, you know? Ooh, this is actually the very end of the game. There's six seconds left and Marquette is down by three. So they need a three to tie it here, it looks like. Which is uh, very exciting. I wish I could watch it, but you know, staring at a screen is exciting too. I actually could probably watch it if I really wanted to, but in uh, maybe some less than legal sites. Don't tell the FBI, but the way I watch football games these days is usually with some uh, less than legal uh, websites. Oh, did it hit zero? Okay, I think they lost. I believe they have just lost the game. Maybe not though, maybe maybe it just hasn't updated yet, you know? Maybe. Maybe they actually scored a four point play and they just won the game. Oh, is he level 30? He must be 30, because he only got five experience for that. Defense, defense is kind of cool. Although when you never take any damage, defense is not a particularly useful stat, but. Yep, that's the final. Ah, you know what? They played the they beat the number one team in the country. They played the number two team in the country. Lost by three. That's pretty good. That's not terrible. We take those. Kind of unfortunate, but you know, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Not terrible. So how many holy weapons do we have right now? I was trying to think, actually, I was actually taking a walk earlier today and I was trying to like think about all the holy weapons that exist in the game or like all the different holy weapons. So there is, we have, we currently have two of the holy swords. They've talked about this before. There are three holy swords. We're about to have the third, hopefully, unless I mess this up. 
There is the Mistletane, which Ares has, of course. There is the, um, the Tearfing, which is the one we're about to get, and then the Balmung, which, um, what's his face currently has? Shannon. Oh, beautiful. The fact that he's going, okay, this is perfect. Even if we wind up taking hits and have to retreat, this is still going to give more time for us to come up here. Okay, one, one out of three is not terrible. We can sort of, like, pick them off and then go down by the water and keep doing that, you know? Um, oh, so, some of them decided that they wanted to live and they chose not to attack him, which is kind of funny. Uh, Alright, said, well, I guess... Probably don't need Force Eddie to kill this guy, right? No, probably not. So there's... Yeah, there's the three legendary swords, which we're going to have all over the holy swords. There's Force Eddie. The... Fire and the uh, Thunder version of Forseti, which is Mjolnir and Valflame, we don't get because those are houses that um, they have their legendary weapons. Um, then there's the legendary axe, which we only ever see once on uh, what's his Alexa's dad, and we don't get. We also have nobody that could use it. In fact, I don't even know if Lex has Major Holy Blood enough to use it, so we can't get that. Although we did get to see that at one point, which is nice. How fast is this guy? 13. Oh yeah, there's no way I can double him. You wanna steal some money? Um. Then there's a legendary bow, which obviously we have on... Um, it was passed down from Bridget to Favel. So we have that. The legendary staff as well. And for, we actually have the legendary staff, although we can't use it because um, we don't have anybody with the major holy blood. But we do have it. What else is there? There's the, leg the legendary. There are two legendary uh, lances, at least that we know of. There's the Gaybolg, which is. Well, actually, could we look at. Because they're all linked to. Oh yeah, okay. So Baldur is the tier thing. We ha we're about to get that. Forseti we have. Naga, I believe we get in the last chapter. Um Julia has major Nagi Naga Holy Blood. Nier is that axe I mentioned. Nobody can use that. We did get to see that. Nova is um Nova is the, the Gaybolg, which is House Leinster. Hazel would be the Mistletane. Yeah, because uh, Rock Rakesis had a little bit of that holy blood. Vala is Valflame, which is what Arvis has. Tordo is the Mjolnir, which Bloom had, and then he gave to Ishtar. Bragi is the legendary staff, which we currently have but can't use. A Allure is the um what is the name of the bow? The Ufel, which we currently have. Dane is Thracia, which is the Gungnir. Um, which Arian still has. And then Odo is uh, the Balmung, which Shannon has. Okay, cool. Interesting. Yeah, I was like I said, I, I, was, I was actually walking earlier today, and I was trying to like go through what all the legendary weapons were and whether or not they could be uh, they could be gotten. So the only legendary weapons that you cannot get... Oh, then I guess there's the legendary... There's one more, because there's Loptir... So the Lobterian Holy Weapon is, of course, used by um, Julius, and we can't get that. Not that anyone has uh, enough blood to use it. So the, the legendary weapons, or the holy weapons that we can't use are Valflame, Mjolnir. I don't remember the name of the axe, but the legend, the holy axe. We also can't use the Gungnir because there's, there's no way to recruit Arion. I think that's it. I think you can use... We also can't use the, the Gabolg, at least in the second generation, because because um, uh, we couldn't recruit Eltina because we messed that up with Finn's death. But hypothetically, you could use it. It is interesting that they don't like they don't allow you to use like every single one. Not that it's necessary that they do, obviously, but I don't know. It just seems like one of those things where they would let you. Normally in Fire Emblem games, if they have like a line of legendary weapons, other than like the evil one, so like obviously the Lopterian one, there's no way they would let you use that. But other than that, you would think that they would actually allow you to use all of the legendary weapons, or the holy weapons, but yeah. 
That was pretty cool, actually. It is interesting, though. Oh, it's ready as a thief string. I forgot. I forgot about that. I was like, why did he just get gold? Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do, Fee, because we want to be really careful here, is I'm gonna take out this guy. The great thing is that she can do that without taking damage because of the brave weapon. And then I think I'll head up the coast. To like here because she should she shouldn't take any damage then and she can range one of them next turn and she should she should be able to slowly work through what's going on over there that is my hope and i think it will uh will come to fruition there i think it'll be okay uh if you want to attack this guy i mean sure i don't think you can kill no it's actually fine though that might be a good kill for dermot next turn potentially Do, 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 do. I'm a, I'm slightly surprised. So it's weird. I don't know what formation they're currently in, but um, I would say the only of the weapons that I'm slightly surprised that you don't get would be the legendary axe, just because, like, again, it makes sense from the perspective that there are no axe users in the second generation. Like, you don't have it other than Lex in the first generation. There is no person with that kind of holy blood that can use axes but it's interesting i guess i guess there can be somebody with that kind of holy blood because lex could have a kid but it's not major and they can't use axes because nobody can um so do you guys all have you guys all have meteor all right, well how much attack 32 all right mr mistletane where you at go crazy buddy let me can i dance for you i can but that's one where I feel like they probably could have finagled, like, like, I'm a little bit surprised that Lex didn't just get that weapon at the end of the first generation, you know? I mean, maybe, maybe it makes more sense than I'm giving you credit. I mean, obviously, you can do whatever you want, you don't have to give that weapon, but, like, I feel like Lex probably could have gotten the Legendary Axe at the end of the first generation, and then... The kid of Le the the male kid of Lex. Well, I, I suppose the bigger issue is that again nobody in the second generation uses axes. So even if you got the legendary axe, there would be no kid that you could transfer it over to. But I still think like I still think it would be cool if they did. Like I feel like one of the kids should have been able to use axes. You know. Okay, I'm just gonna keep doing this. Just stay out of range. We'll just make this as safe for Fee as we possibly can. Um, yeah, that, but that's the only one. Mjolnir needs to go to Ishtar, which obviously it's still important that she has it because she's going to be on the final chapter. And then Velflame obviously needs to be on uh, Arvis. And there's really no way that... I mean, you, you could potentially have the kid of... The problem is that you have to inherit the weapons. See, again, this is why I think the axe could work. Because you have to inherit the weapons, right? It can't be that you get the weapon because then a, a non-major Holy Blood user could have it. But that's why, again, I feel like the axe could actually make sense. Because you could actually... The, the axe isn't in the second generation, unlike Mjolnir and Velflame. I don't know. Again, in the end, it doesn't matter. The point is it's not in the second generation, and that's all that really matters. But I don't know. I feel like it probably... That's the one where I feel like it could could work. And I wonder, I'd be a little bit curious. So obviously Fire Emblem 4 seems to be the next game that they'll remake. He's up to 67 health, by the way. Holy shit. Um, given that they remade Fire Emblem... They've already remade Fire Emblem 1, 2, and 3. So 4 seems to be the next thing they would remake. And 4 is like kind of a cult classic, right? People really like 4, so... I wouldn't be surprised if they did remake it at some point. But there are so many things that I'm really curious how they'll change. Or if they'll keep the same. Holy weapons are... Well, your hit is terrible. Oh, it's because you're in the Authority Stars of Mr. Arvis up there. Yeah, that's unfortunate. 
But I, I do feel like the holy weapons might be one of them, just because... In more modern Fire Emblem, I feel like it's more common to have access to more things and more characters. So I wonder if they would allow you to use more of the holy weapons. I don't know. I, I, it depends on how they remade it, I suppose. Which obviously they have their own ideas about. You know what I would be really curious about? I was thinking about this the other day. Is Fire Emblem 4 obviously extremely unique in uh, Fire Emblem, right? Because there's basically no other Fire Emblem game that does um, narratively what this game does. And what I mean by that, of course, is what happens at the end of the first generation. Like, there's no other game that has the the balls, I guess you could say, to murder the entire cast at the end of one part of the game, right? Like, that's crazy. So I'd be really curious if they remade this game, if they sort of changed that in some way. Did you just miss a 98%? Is that what I just witnessed? Then you get hit by a 48. Okay. No. Whatever. But yeah, I would be really, really interested to see exactly how they decide to adapt um, this game. Does that kill 30, right? Yeah, I think it does. But I feel like a good adaptation of this game, a good remake of this game could be amazing. Like, this game has so much promise, I guess. I mean, the game itself is great, obviously. You know, like most Fire Emblem games, I'm a big fan, but yeah, I don't know. Do, 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 do. Okay, so there's one thing that we have to do after we defeat Arvis, but before we finish the chapter. Um. I think that's pretty much it. We still have to get the tear thing as well, of course. Oh, I didn't realize there. I mean, this can't kill me, but if it hits me, this is going to be a little bit annoying. Okay, good dodge. I suppose it wouldn't really matter too much. She can still kill the other one without taking a hit. But... Okay, that's fine. But yeah, obviously from my perspective, like, I, you know, I hope if they ever do decide to remake this game, they keep it as sort of pure as possible. Um, because I, I do think that it's great. Specifically, I will say the story for the second generation, I think, is a little, a little boring, uh, at least thus far. It's fine in a stereotypical Fire Emblem way, but the first generation has such a, like, climactic ending to it. I feel like it's kind of hard to live up to that. I'm not sure really, I'm not really sure that it does. Um, but that climactic ending for the first generation is so crazy and so different in comparison to like every other Fire Emblem game that yeah, if they ever remake it, I obviously, I hope that they wouldn't pull any punches again and they would keep the story the same, at least in that regard. Okay, we'll go here. It shouldn't put me in range. Yeah, okay. So basically, we're gonna go get the tear fang. Oh wait, are those citizens that I can rescue again? Hold on, maybe we don't need you to go into the arena. Are, are, can I rescue those citizens and give Delman like a bunch of experience? <laughs> Is that a thing I can do? I didn't even think about those as being like citizens that I could rescue. Could also potentially do that with Corpory. Okay, finish off your uh, little expedition over here. Again, this would obviously be a lot of easier had we had Eltina and Fee, but thankfully our Fee is really strong. This is also something that's kind of different with like early Fire Emblem as opposed to late Fire Emblem. Like, even if we had no good flyers, we still might have been able to get the tier thing. But if you didn't have a good flyer, if you like had a crappy Fee or didn't, didn't get Fee or didn't train Fee and didn't get Eltina, like you just wouldn't be able to get the tier thing. Hello. Are you unharmed, Your Grace? Lord Salif, oh bless you. We've waited uh we've waited we've waited you so long? I don't know what he just said. I've done all I can to survive. All to ensure and receive your birthright. Here, take it, my lord. But what is this? This is the sacred relic of House Kelfi, the divine blade, Tearfang. But how could you have it, Your Grace? My apologies, my lord, but I cannot say. I swore an oath. I see, fair enough then. I couldn't possibly thank you enough, Your Grace. 
So this is Tearfang, then. I never felt power quite like this. Lord, I beg of you, please, retake Kelfi at once. Your subjects have endured for so long in hope of one day seeing your return. Rest easy now, Your Grace. As long as I have Tearfang in hand, we have nothing more to fear. We get the Tearfang! Which is pretty sweet. I don't actually remember what it buffs. Holy shit, a lot of stuff. Although, to be, to be honest, a lot of those buffs are from my... He has plus 25 resistance, which means 28... He has 38 res. Holy shit. It also grants Miracle. It does weigh 7, but he gets speed too, so yeah, he, he looks pretty strong. I, I also think I'm going to use him to kill Arvis, because I think it'll be... It makes sense for him to kill Arvis, right? At least that's what I think. Does Arvis... I actually should probably check if Arvis has any, like, uh, scary abilities. He has... Vice, Charm, and I don't know, not really. And Valflame doesn't say anything specific that it gives. No, like, skills or anything. So it seems like we're just going to be fighting him straight up. Which shouldn't be too bad. Do you lose any stats when you dismount? I don't know. Again, there's basically no reason to ever dismount. And spam some more physics up here if we want. Do, 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 do. Okay, how do we look fighting Arvis? This is with no charm. Oh no, we have one charm down there. 70 hit. We take a hit okay. Will we double? How much is Velthamore? It weighs 15? Yeah, so we should double. Mine weighs 7. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, we, we can actually wait until we get the other. We have to wait until he does his thing anyway, so we may as well wait until we get the other charm. Well, I can't actually rescue these kids. How are you with the Liberators? Wow, you came for us after all. I feel like it's almost kind of a waste to give all of the experience to him. We could give some to Carpri, but honestly, I don't really care. And I'm kind of lazy, so I think we'll just give him all the levels. Oh, he's healing me! Oh, thank you! Thank you, Paul Mark. That's funny. I did not expect him to do that, but, you know, we'll take it. Oh, you're a Crusader. I was really scared there. Obviously, if I really wanted to, I could bring somebody else over here and give him, like, five levels or whatnot, but... 2 HP Dude, his level ups have been so... I don't know, he's been really mediocre. Stop, stop healing me, Felmark. What do we have going over here? Oh, this is really funny. Does he just have heal? Oh, he's mend. You're the Liberation Army. Wow, you're all amazing. You're right. Especially Delmen, he's awesome. P defense. Okay. Again, like such a <laughs> stop level. <laughs> stop healing me. <laughs> wow, the liberators, you're the best. It's true. That is true. Is he like capped? His strength might actually be capped. What is his speed growth? Why does his speed suck so bad? Like, he's got to just have bad speed growth, right? Right? Uh, Delbed. With Beowulf as the father, he has a 40% speed growth. Like, that's not that bad. I mean, it's not amazing. Wait, you're a crusader, really? Huh. I don't know what his base speed was, but I feel like he should have more speed. I mean, he's like level 23 or something at this point. <laughs> Okay, finally got speed. He'll probably get a big speed bump when he promotes, obviously, but... <laughs> Stop healing me, old man. <laughs> oh, Pelmark. Alright, now we'll bring him back over to get the charm, and then we can, uh, we can fight Arvis. 
Again, as I've explained a bunch of times, uh, but I love explaining things to myself over and over again. Um, for Delman's perspective, his usefulness does not come from his combat. Like, um, obviously, the better the combat, it is still useful, but his strength is coming mostly from his um, is coming mostly from his charm ability. You, Emperor Arvis, why? Why did you betray my father? At long last, Selif, I must commend your your courage, boy. Your courage cannot save you now. Not since your dear depart departed father have I seen such a pathetic worm. My flames shall purge you from this world. Oh my. Oh my. Sick. Good start. We love to see it. This is sick music, by the way. Oh, that's right, I stole- I can steal from him. That did not deal a lot of damage, by the way. <laughs> not as much as I was hoping. You can try again, though. There's no way- let me just make sure. There's no way that he, like, crits or anything, right? He doesn't have anything like that? No, I think we're okay. Uh, yeah. I don't think I can crit, because I think Nihil prevents me from doing that. Also, by the way, we just missed an 80%, which sucks. Oh my god. Well, this is going to take a while if this keeps happening. <laughs> Could shoot him with the legendary bow. Maybe we'll try that next turn, I don't know. But he should attack me. I don't know if he attacks at range or not. Oh my god, he heals so much! Okay. Dude, like, what? Really? Come on! I feel like we're memeing out here. 26 hit. Yeah, I mean, he always won charm over there, but... Um, Jesus Christ. Miss Pavice. Good lord. Okay. Double hit. That makes up for it. We love to see that. You can tell how much I use Nana to heal because she has so much mobility. Her mend is like about to run out. <laughs> heal whoever you want, buddy. Oh, we actually got magic. What is his magic growth? It's got to be just like pathetically low, right? Corporate with Holen being the dad. No, it's 25%. It's actually a lot better than I was expecting. Okay, that's good. He could kill him right here. Jesus. Okay, it's fine. Everything is fine. Just remember that. Oh, we still didn't do the, um, Faval talking to Lana thing. Hey, Deirdre Julia. You get out of here, Arvis. Okay, so now, where do we need to go for this? We need to go to... Down here. Okay. And then, yeah, Carpri, you talk to... Or, not Carpri. Carpri, you heal. Just keep spamming heal, buddy. 
It's gonna pay off one day, I just know it. Or Physic, I guess. Oh, is it not Favol talking to Lana? Favol to Lana. Maybe we missed it? Or did I already do it? I don't know. Well, apparently we can't do it. Which is fine. I mean, she has 62 health. I don't think she really needs more health. Selif. Oh, Selif. Is somebody there? Oh, Selif, how you've grown. Could it be mother? Mother? Is it truly you? What a fine young man you become. Bless Lewin for all he's done to guide you this far. Don't give any credit to Lewin. Self, never forget your friends, your companions. You must always cherish them. You owe them so much. Yes, mother, I understand. Oh, I've defeated Emperor Arvis. At long last, father has been avenged. You did, but what of Julius and Julia? I still don't know. Wait, mother. Uh, how could you know of what happened to them? Mother? Self. Who's there? Wait, is that you, father? Listen, Selif, you must stay humble no matter what. <laughs> Remember, your powers alone, uh, your power alone was not what put an end to Arvis. What, what do you mean, father? What do you mean? What does he mean? You must learn the sorrow of the common man, Selif. What? Your truth is not the reality of all. You must, you must learn the sorrow of the common man. Even in death, this pompous motherfucker. Unless you know their pain, these long years of war will have been for naught. Father, come back, please. Self, take care of my son. Oh, mother. Dude, so <laughs> I'm glad he's dead. You know what? I'll say it. I'm glad he's dead. <laughs> he must learn the pain and sorrow of the common man. Oh, my God. You have to understand them so you can crush them. Bye, Selif. I mean, Sigurd, whatever your name is. All right, well, we have defeated Arvis. You know what? Let's let's promote Dermot, why not? Or Delmond, whatever I've been calling him. Also in the sorrow of the common man. <laughs> Jesus Christ. HP strength, how much strength does he have? Four. I guess that's not that much, but... Alright, let's promote Delmen is the last thing we do here before we seize. I can find the castle. So you've been working hard to Forest Knight. I have been working hard, Lewin. Thank you. I will say, I, I know it's a touching moment, but I'm not a big fan of the Force Ghosts showing up, like in Star Wars, to talk to Selif. That's alright, we don't need that. It was kind of funny to hear Sigurd say that, though. I will admit. Uh, yeah, the, the big speed buff is really nice, up to 20. I believe he also gets... It's either a cost or... Oh, it shows you whether it's a personal skill or a class skill. Oh, that's kind of cool. So Adept is from being a Forest Knight, and then a cost was from... Okay, cool. Um, yeah, he's not terrible, but again, it's mostly just that he has charm that we really want him. And then I think we're good to go. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, hopefully I didn't miss anything. A job well done indeed, Sigurd, or Selif. <laughs> and would you just look at that? The locals are so happy to see you. Look, they're already pouring into the streets to rejoice at your return. Mm, I'm home. At long last, I'm home. Nothing has ever felt this good. But I mustn't celebrate just yet. Julia, right? You must be worried something fierce. Uh, I've got a little thing, got a little thing for her, do you? <laughs> oh, uh, uh no, nothing of the sort. I've had a word with some locals who've seen her. Archbishop Manfroy's got his grubby hands on her by the sounds of it. It's a pretty safe bet that Julia's still somewhere in Granvale. Say, Lewin, something feels amiss. We defeated Arvis and avenged my father, and yet I still feel empty. That'd be because we still have a while to go until we reach the end of all this. If anything, the real battles, the real battle here is only just about to get started. Trust me, by the end of this holy war, by the time this holy war has come to an end, Selif, the truth behind it will all be clear as day. And thus, we move on to the final chapter. I think it's the final chapter. So obviously this is where I'm going to end this part, um, but again, next time we'll move on to final chapter, the end of the holy war. Which, as I said, from looking at it, looking at the enemies that we have to fight, it seems pretty insane and long, so... Uh, we'll see how many parts it winds up taking, but yeah, very excited to embark on, uh, on that. 
chapter, but... Uh, but yeah, for the time being, uh, that is it for today. Obviously, we'll be doing a story recap, and then we will be uh, doing the final chapter. So thanks, everybody, for watching, as always, and I will see you next time.